Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Apache Scoop. Today I'll be talking about the topic uh, which is code gen. Code gen uh, stands for code generation. So uh, this is our today's topic and uh, I'll be uh, just using one example to help you understand that what's the issue, what's the meaning of code gen, right? So stay with me. Uh, the first thing I would like to now discuss is what's the formal definition of code gen, right? So uh, like uh, uh, the reason I have uh, chosen this video or, or a reason I have made this video because understanding of code gen is quite important because as internally uh, it converts our scoop job into the jar which consists of several Java classes. So okay, so uh, like uh, if you're from the Java background you must be uh, aware of these words uh, which I've written here, uh, ORM, POJO. So let me uh, let just again clarify what this stands for. So uh, this uh, POJO stands for plain uh, old Java object. It is an ordinary Java object uh, which is not bound by any special restriction other than those forced by Java language. Specification and uh, not uh, requiring any class path. So it, are, it is required for increasing the readability and reusability of a program. This is the meaning of this uh, POJO which stands for plain old Java object. Then we have ORM. ORM uh, um, again, uh, it's a uh, it is from Java background. It stands for Object Relational Mapping. It's an uh, programming technique for converting data between relational databases and uh, object-oriented programming languages such as Java. Okay, so uh, uh, th uh, that's a uh, the little uh, definition of these two terms. Although, if you're from Java background, you must be uh, com comfortable with these terms, right? Okay, so uh, it internally converts our scoop job into the jar which consists of several Java classes and a class that implements DB writable uh, extending scoop record to read and write and uh, data from the relational databases to the Hadoop and vice versa. I'll be showing you in a while uh, what I have uh, declared written here. Okay, so the output jar will be written to your local system. You will get a jar file, uh, Java files and uh, uh, Java files which are compiled into dot class files. Okay, so this is the little definition that what this code gen is all about. To implement the same on the scoop, uh, we we'll, uh, we'll need to follow one syntax. Let me show you that syntax here. This is a syntax. Let me zoom in. Okay. To uh, make use of code gen, we need to specify the keyword code gen, scoop space code gen. Then we need to specify uh, my uh, connection string. Okay. And then uh, I'm specifying my credentials. Uh, then I'm specifying the bind directory where my all jars are available. Then I'm specifying uh, like a table, a cust, right? So uh, I would like to generate the jar files of this table. So that's the reason I'm just uh, written, uh, written like this. So this is the syntax we need to follow for this, for this little example. Okay, so let me run this for you. Press enter. wait for a while okay you can see now uh, I've got the answer like uh, that the file has been written to this location under the scoop lib cust.jar so let me show you this what we got inside this jar file right we need to go to this location uh, we have a scoop available under scoop we have a library here we got let me do in this way and we must be getting cust files right which is cust okay we have got this right uh, this is a time 7.744 so these are the files we got okay that uh, the way i have specified earlier that we'll be getting jar dot class files and dot java file right so let me open it for you okay this this i have already opened right so what we have got in this case, right? Uh, like why it is so important. Okay, in this case, you can see here, uh, uh, we have first, we have a ORM class for the tables, which is specified here. Okay, ORM class, fine. Which is implements the DB writable, right? Now, uh, then we have, the, which is, uh, this is a ORM stand for object relational model generated for mapping. Okay, then what we got, we got get and uh, setter methods. Okay, setter and getter, uh, uh, setters and getter methods to get values. Okay, so uh, one more thing I would like to now uh, show it to you. We have one thing available here called read fields, right? This one. So what's the meaning of this one? 
actually like although uh, we are not aware of this fact but internally it uses jdbc prepared statements to write to the hadoop and result set to read data from hadoop okay so maybe we are not we are unaware of this fact that what is going on behind the scenes but this is the uh, things which are helping the uh, uh, helping us to uh, write to the hadoop and uh, we, uh, we are using a result set okay uh, to read the data from hadoop so this is the like behind the scenes functioning okay when you run this code gen you'll be getting lot of stuff you'll getting java file you're getting jar files and you are getting the dot class files i hope uh, you must have understood the uh, the concept so this is the video like uh, which i have uh, like decided to just uh, to discuss this small thing Uh, which is uh, which is called code gen which is stand for the code generation i hope you must have understood in case if you have any confusion just uh, comment right thanks for watching see you in next video